today we come to the second of the busy verbs, the verb to have, as it occurs in IT texts. The function of to have in IT texts is as a main verb and a helping verb. So first, let us look at the function of to have as a main verb. Firstly, it shows ownership or possession. And the verb has or have connects the owner or possessor with items or objects owned or possessed. An example of this is the manager of the company has an office in the center of the city. The manager is the owner or possessor and the office is the place that is owned or possessed. The second function of to have as a main verb is to show specific characteristics, features or results of a person, place or event in which a person, place, event is connected to its characteristics, features or results with the verb has or have. An example of this, we have one Skyjet executive team has 100 years of management experience in the aviation industry. So here, the group, the persons with the special characteristics are the Skyjet executive team and the features that are belong to them are 100 years of management experience. Now we come to the function of to have as a helping verb. As a helping verb, to have combines with a main verb to form the present perfect, in which uh, the verb has or have shows time, and the main verb is in the past participle, which forms the present perfect. Now there are two main functions of the present perfect in IT texts. The first of these is to show that an event that began in the past is still ongoing. And the second one is to show an event that happened in the past is completed but has present consequences or results. So let's look at the first of these. We have this example here. Odell Guyton has been the director of compliance at Microsoft for a decade. So here we have the person, Odell Guyton, and we have a fact about him that began in the past and is still true. So he began as director 10 years ago, and he is still the director. And if we put this sentence in Arabic, we would use the mudari, or the equivalent to the simple present tense. The second function of to have as a helping verb is where we want to show an action that was completed in the past, but still has consequences or results. And this is the most common use of to have in IT texts. So for example, unethical behavior has led to serious negative consequences that have had a major global impact. The unethical behavior happened and the result is still with us. And that is serious negative consequences for the whole world. Now let's have a look at the form of the verb to have which like to be is sometimes classed as an irregular verb. The verb to have in the present tense occurs either as have or has and in the past is had. To have changes from the present depending, changes in the present depending on the person. So in singular form we have he, she, it, has or he, she, it, had. And then I have, the first person singular, and you, we, they, have, or had. Thank you.